who will be hearing from a company that is making plant-based meal prep affordable, easy, and delicious. So please welcome to the stage, Trishna from Down to Cook. Hi, thank you, Claire. Hi, I'm Trishna. I'm the founder of Down to Cook. We make plant-based meal starters that use fresh vegetables. Now, the reason I started Down to Cook is I'm a food product developer and I've worked for a number of years um, in plant-based food, making meat and dairy analogs. And what I found in this work is that a lot of those products were highly processed and that made them both expensive and not always healthy. So I felt like we could think a little bit outside the box and find this huge opportunity to create something that's both healthy and accessible to more people. So that really leads into our mission of making plant-based food that is healthy and inclusive. We all know there are great health benefits of eating plant-based food and we wanna make that available to everyone. So our first product to market is an add a veggie protein mix. It takes a fresh vegetable and transforms it into a healthy and satisfying meal. So the way it works, you take your fresh vegetable, you either rice it or chop it, add it to our dry mix, and then you can form it into patties, meatballs, or crumble, and then pan fry and use in, you know, any kind of meal the way you would use a ground meat. So this process is really quick and easy. It takes just about 10 minutes and it lets you take a vegetable from the side of your plate to the center. Now, in order to make vegetables really stand up as a center of plate item, we not only had to add protein to give it to satiety, we also needed to focus on texture. Making veggies have really delicious textures is where I used my technical background to make the mix, both add um, chew to vegetables, give it a nice crisp on the outside, hold in the moisture of the fresh vegetable and any healthy fats that are added in. So that picture you're seeing is actually an eggplant meatball. And our mix is um, you know, high in protein and fiber. It is gluten and soy free because it's pea protein based. Um, so that's a great plus for uh, products in the vegan space. So the mix itself is highly versatile. It works with a number of different veggies um, and a lot of different formats. So it can really fit into a lot of different cultural cuisines. And I've shown a, a few examples here. Uh, on the left, you see uh, keema, which is a traditional Indian dish that's usually made with ground lamb, but we made it with cauliflower. Uh, we've made kebabs with different vegetables. We made a sloppy joe with cauliflower. We made uh, tacos with mushrooms. Uh, and on the upper right are eggplant meatballs. So not only is the mix really versatile and, and can fit into different cuisines, it also, you, you could take the, the vegetables that are in your fridge now and convert it into a delicious meal in minutes. So it also helps people reduce their household food waste um, and be able to use all the produce they buy. So really um, giving people the ability to just kind of stretch their, their grocery budgets. Now price point. So our whole mission is to make an affordable product as well, right? So if you look at Ada Veggie, it you know, costs $6 and to make a complete meal for four people, you would have to buy the vegetable um, and then add in a carb and a sauce. So the total meal for a family of four is $8.50. Now, if you compare that to other plant-based options, we're two to three times more affordable. And here's where I get really excited because if you compare us to Hamburger Helper, which is a you know, boxed uh, pasta meal kit, where you have to go and buy the ground meat, that total meal cost is also $8.50. So just imagine all the people that we can reach with healthy plant-based food when we're at that price point alone. Um, and this is by design, right? This is what I set out to do. I wanted to give people the essentials and then have them bring the vegetable and serve that as the base, um, as opposed to selling fillers, as opposed to making you know, a fully formed shipping water and you know paying for refrigerated supply chain logistics I'm actually passing all that cost benefit back onto the home cook. Now we started selling in early 2019 um, at farmers markets to really understand our customer and the product positioning because it is such a new concept and then uh, earlier this year we started selling in, on e-commerce platforms and in retail and we've seen tremendous growth in the last quarter and exciting news, we were accepted into KHE's Elevate program. So we will gain national distribution um, and even 10X our revenue in 2021. We are cu currently raising a pre-seed round of 500K um, that'll go towards supporting a retail launch and making us a further success at Shelf. 
And at Down to Cook, we're helping people cook their vegetables and not only make meals um, that they want to eat and that they can, you know, make really quickly, but that they can afford so that we can make plant-based eating a reality for everyone. And I'd just like to thank you for your time and I'm happy to answer questions. Amazing. Thank you so much, Trishna. Um, I have to say the um, add a veggie has become a pantry staple in my household where all of our all of our little kiddos love it. It's a great fast meal. Um, all right, we'll, we'll go to, to questions. All right, uh, I just want to say we, we tried this the other night and it was a great use of a head of broccoli that I didn't know what to do with um, and it tasted great. So um, can you talk a little bit, and, and I should say this would make an amazing kind of family activity, just uh, the process of putting it together. Um, can you talk a bit about um, uh, kind of you mentioned distribution with Kehi, but to talk about kind of where you're focused in the next couple of years and also where does it go in the store? Yeah, great question. So our retail strategy really is to launch in natural retailers first, kind of build our distribution and our scale, and then eventually get to mass merchandisers like the Walmarts and Targets where we can really reach accessible points of distribution. Um, and that's where we'll, we'll build to over the next several years. Um, where it lands in store is a, is a question that we've um, been testing in a lot of different ways, even on just the e-com platforms. Um, as a category, it fits with, with box meal kits, right? So it would sit next to actually the hamburger helpers and, you know, the mac and cheeses. Um, I do think there's secondary placement that could be really great for us in produce, especially as a lot of meat alternatives like tofurkey and a lot of these um, products are moving next to meat. There's space for something like this that's really produce focused. Um, so we're going to be seeking kind of that secondary placement in produce and then also in like vegan and gluten free sections of the store. Um, but as of now, the, the category we're, we're in is the box meal kits. Hi, Trishna. Great presentation um, and lovely product. Um, and such a great idea. I, so I noticed that you have a number of SKUs that look like maybe four. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about how the, those four products are differentiated from each other? Yeah, so there are four different flavors um, and they're really positioned to work in different formats. So like the original is our kind of more, I would say bland, but it's spiced, like you could use it as is, but it's the one that works really well um, for kids and for cooks that like to top add their own spices. Um, so that, and that's the product we also earlier were kind of selling to, to chefs as well, but it's the most versatile of the bunch. Um, and then we have really specific flavors for different types of cuisines. So we have a roasted garlic, for Italian food, we have um, an Indian masala blend and then a chipotle adobo for, um, you know, tacos and burritos and that kind of thing. Awesome. Thank you again, Trishna. And I just want to mention, too, that um, her product is is up for a Nexty Award. So it's definitely getting getting a lot of the recognition it deserves.